Hey there, welcome back. This week I've been exploring over a few days different areas in London to visit selected second-hand bookstores. I didn't have any particular list of books in mind, I just wanted to see what was available there and hopefully discover a new favorite spot or two to shop. So come along as we explore London's bookshops. First on the list was Arsenal, where I spotted a few second bookshop I wanted to try. The first one is the Book Bar Cafe, which, as the nun suggests, is a bookshop, a cafe and even a wine bar in the evening. It is super cute, though extremely small. When we arrived it was full, so we turned to the terrace to enjoy our coffee. It was nice to be able to sip or drink outside after the long winter month. Right next to the book bar, you can find House of Hodge, which is a second-hand charity bookstore that supports animal organizations. The bookstore is really small as well, but covered by book from top to bottom. There were so many books to look at, I spent a while there and I could have spent longer if my boyfriend was not patiently waiting outside. We decided to walk around the neighborhood, exploring this area that I'm not so familiar with, but it seems very cute, so I will definitely try to go back. We wanted to check out another cafe slash bookstore called Inc. 84, but unfortunately they were closed, so another time. We passed through the Beauvoir to go through our next destination. This beautiful square surrounded by Georgian houses is not related to the French writer and philosopher Simon de Beauvoir, as I thought first, but from the original owner of the land, Richard de Beauvoir. We then arrive at Burley Fisher Books. These bookstores sell new and second-hand books with a focus on independent press. It's a really nice bookstore that I would gladly come back to. For the second-hand books, we just had to head down downstairs and they had a vast selection of books to go through. I found this Polish to one that I picked up. I hope I haven't read this one yet, because I read both these books in French and English and sometimes I get confused. It has happened to me that I realize I already read the book only halfway through. One of my favorite places to find secondhand books is charity shops. Of course, the selection is not as good as in bookstores, but they are everywhere in London and in the country in general, they're really easy to find. Oxfam in particular has specific bookstores all over the country that I like to visit often. Lastly on my list was the South Bank book market, but for that we had to head south towards the Thames, passing by the center and crossing the Waterloo Bridge. The weather was beautiful that day and it was such a great feeling to enjoy the sun, finally. The Southbound Book Market is open every day from 10 to 7 p.m. next to the BFI and has been there for the past four decades. This time around there was only two sellers, but I've seen it fuller at other times. As I said earlier, I wasn't particularly looking for any books and I have to be quite intentional with the books that I do buy because my bookshelves are already full, unfortunately. They had a great selection of books, particularly old, vintage ones, and even comics.
So here are the books that I bought during these excursions. First the summary Udonit book, then Paul Oster one, and finally American Psycho by Bret Easton Ellis. But before I start reading these, I need to finish the books I already started. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this bookstore excursion all over London and see you in the next one!